Let's have a look inside the DICOM file. DICOM files are binaries. You can open them with any text editor, but if you want to be able to make sense of what they contain, we need a hexadecimal editor. Here we use Sublime Text, which is an hexadecimal viewer plugin. Let's take a closer look at the beginning of the file and use the DICOM documentation to see what the bytes mean. The DICOM standard tells us that the first 128 bytes constitute the preamble of the file, which will be ignored and can therefore be filled with whatever we want. In this case, some text telling where the demo file comes from. After those 128 bytes, the next 4 bytes are the prefix, which is mandatory and corresponds to the ASCII code for the letter DICM. These bytes will be found in any DICOM file. The rest of the file contains the data which is organized in tags. The next 4 bytes of this file is the tag 00020000. Afterwards, we have the value representation of the tag, which is the type of data that the tag contains. Here, UL for unsigned long. Next, we have the length of the bytes encoding the value of the tag, here 4. And finally, we have the value itself, which in this case is 150. Entire DICOM file this way, but it will be impractical. It's better to use tools such, such as this one, the DCM4SHE toolkit. DCM4SHE contains a lot of tools and programs which can help us deal with DICOM files. One of those tools is DCM Dump, which we can use to show and to display in the command line the contents of a DICOM file. The content will be dumped in text format, but formatted in a way that makes it easier to read. Let's start a command line prompt from the binary folder of dcm 4 c We use the dcm dump command on the sample uh, DICOM file that we already opened earlier. We see the entire content of the file dumped on the command line. It corresponds to a DICOM tag within the file. The first number is the position within the file. First we have at the zero position the preamble, which is ignored. Next you can see the information that we already saw in the hexadecimal viewer. This also tells us the name of the tag, so that we don't have to look up in the documentation each time. In this case 00020000 corresponds to the file meta information group length. After that we can see the, the type, ul, and the length, 4. We can always use the DICOM documentation to check the, the value representation and the name of the tags. We find the value of the tags within the square brackets. We can also dump the contents of the file to a text file rather than to the command prompts. This way we can afterwards read it in any text editor that we want. You can always use the documentation to interpret the tags and also to interpret the value of the UIDs. For instance, you can see here see that this transfer text UID corresponds to the JPEG baseline. You can also check the subclass UID. In this case, we see that it corresponds to an X-ray and geographic image storage can easily find the list of all the UIDs online. Another thing you can do with dcm 4 c is to export the DICOM file to the XML format for the metadata. This will produce XML tags, which we can also save to a file, in this case metadata.xml. We could also extract the image the pixel data of the image with DCM to JPEG. In this case, we export it to 0002.jpg. You can then view this JPEG image in any image viewer. And we 
can also open the metadata the XML file, for instance in a browser, and see again the same information, but this time in XML format. When we store DICOM files, they are usually organized into DICOM directories, which follow a certain organizational hierarchy, which we will see in the next video.